Uh, we're told that 10 new cases uh, of coronavirus has been recorded in Tamale. Uh, if you had my conversation earlier with the Minister of Information, Kojo Ponkoma, he says that these are not uh, new. They didn't come in last night, as we've been told, and that they've been in the country for the past 11 days. My colleague uh, uh, Zubeda Ismail is in Tamale, and she joins me live. Good morning, Zubeda. Good morning, Esonam. Well, you, you are not under lockdown, right? No, 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 no. We are not. We, we are not under lockdown. We are exempted <laughs> for now. Yeah. Okay. So, what's the situation there currently? I mean, the atmosphere. Uh, once we are not, I mean, Tamale, the northern region, northeast region, um, Savannah region, once we are not under any lockdown, then, of course, you expect people to wake up in the morning. Um, go to the market, those that have to also go around uh, to sell their petty stuff like um, leptin, sugar, uh, on their heads are doing that. Those that are selling cocoa by the roadside are selling. Those that are selling wache are out already. They are selling their wache. Of course, those are also selling the local um, delicacies like cheese, like tubani, kabli. They are all out and then everybody is working. So, yeah, so it's, so it's business find, as usual. Here. It's business as usual. I want some of that watching. Anyways, let's talk about let's talk about um, these uh, ten cases from Guinea. We are told who came into Burkina Faso. Do you know if they are being quarantined at the moment, as we are told by the information minister? Yes. So um, as of yesterday in the evening, before I went to sleep, the information I gathered from the. A uh, chairman of LEXE, who is also the Northern Regional Minister, Salifu Said, was that mm -hmm. um, these 10 persons are under quarantine. They mm -hmm. are in a hotel, of course, because of stigma. We are unable to um, mention the, the name, name of, of the hotel. hotel. That's fine. So, mm -hmm. yes. So they are actually, um, uh, uh, I mean, under quarantine in a hotel, all 10 of them. Mm -hmm. And then this morning, I, I heard you speak with the information minister who also mentioned that uh, they are going to be uh, repatriated back into their country mm -hmm. so that their treatment would be done there. So, yes, I'll be following up with the minister also this morning mm -hmm. to find out how that is going to be done, as to whether they are going to go by uh, for an emergency flight or they are going to go through the same way they came in, that is through the Burkina Faso border, mm -hmm. and that is yet to be disclosed. So I will be finding out, and once I do, mm -hmm. we'll let our viewers get that bit of the information. Yeah, he mentioned that they're doing contact tracing. Are you are you able to confirm that? Yes, so indeed, contact tracing, which is an important key, and the fighting against um, COVID-19 has started. Mm -hmm. In Tamale, um, with these 10 persons we are talking about, there have been some 40 persons that have been forty, and these 40 persons are being studied they have been put under quarantine of course and they are also being studied with their temperatures and all that and so we are they are being monitored for perhaps the next two weeks to see whether they will not uh, exhibit signs of um, COVID-19 and if they don't of course they'll be uh, allowed to come back to their normal life and then life will be back with them but then mm. if any of them I mean uh, show signs then, of course, the person is going to be, to be isolated and yeah. then treatment will yeah. start. Right. Now, we are told that some over 800 headquarters came in from Accra, Kumasi, and Yeji last night. Yes. So, um, I must say this. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not just about these 800 persons that arrived at Salaga, mm -hmm. um, who are Kayayis, I mean, headquarters. We have several of them. So, okay. from Friday... Um, we had a few of them also arriving in Wale Wale. You know, Wale Wale is a transit area for Upper East and then the Northeast region. And wherever mm -hmm. you are going in, within the Northeast region, you need to get to Wale Wale before you mm -hmm. progress. So these mm -hmm. persons usually are from the other parts of the region, that's the Northeast region, from Nalirugu, Gambaga, Bunkurugu, and Wale Wale itself. And so once they returned, Wale Wale was their first post of call that is the transit and that is where we had a lot of them we had a lot of them actually mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i tried speaking with the mce for while while and he told me that yes they are aware some of these persons are arriving and they have also put in place measures to ensure that oh, and what are the are measures what are the measures isolated for mm, some time okay. before they get into the communities right. now with salada let's go back to salada salada, so salada mm -hmm. at the end of yesterday's exercise some seven persons were uh, quarantined mm -hmm. and these persons are persons that exhibited um, some abnormal temperatures, temperatures. So okay 
uh, are these headquarters? Actually they are headquarters. These seven persons are they headquarters? I didn't hear you. Are they headquarters? The seven persons. Yes, yes, yes. So the, these seven persons are headquarters that arrived from Kumase. Mm -hmm. They are among the eight hundred headquarters that arrived in Salaga. Right. And after the long day exercise, that is the day, checking of their temperatures, they had abnormal temperatures. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, the health officials at the Salaga Hospital decided to isolate them. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, quarantine mm -hmm. them, and then. Uh, uh, steady them for up to today. So this morning, I'm um, also uh, I tried speaking to the health officials at Salaga. Mm -hmm. They haven't answered their calls yet. So mm -hmm. once they do again, they have in the subsequent bulletin, we will let um, our viewers know what has happened to the aid, whether their temperatures have um, gone down or oh, whether Lord. they have actually mm -hmm. exhibited signs which goes beyond the temperatures and they have, they have been quarantined or whatever well the So So before I let you go, so I gather that this over 800 uh, headquarters who came in have not been tested yet. Come again. They, they, they've not been tested for COVID-19 yet. No, 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 mm. no. Okay. They have not been tested for right. COVID-19 because mm. Salaga does not have a testing place. They don't have a testing point. Um, and there's no holding center, mm. holding center, sorry, in Salaga. So mm. once they came in, the only thing that the health officials could do was to check for their temperatures. And uh, it's key. So for for some of us, we had our own issues when it also comes to the temperature because mm. I personally, mm. I never go, my temperature never goes below 40. And so if you take that and then so because of that, you think I have COVID-19, and of course they're going to keep me away from my family for, right. for this. Mm. And so we are hoping that um, there will be other measures to ensure that um, we get the right thing done. Right. Zubeda Ismail, we are, we are grateful that you spoke to us this morning. So I'm sure you get us updated with regards to uh, this uh, development with Salaga and in Tamale as a whole. Uh, so we are, we are keeping you updated with what is happening in regards to uh, the lockdown as well as cases recorded across the country.